let's welcome in Lisa Su, AMD's CEO, coming to us live from CES after a keynote. Lisa, great to see you. Uh, I got to start off really, really broad because we've got these comments from uh, some other CEOs in the tech industry, Satya Nadella, Andy Jassy. Just as you're heading into 23, and I know we're ahead of earnings, so I'm not trying to get you to say anything that has to do with that, but this austerity, belt tightening, what you're hearing from, uh, from OEMs, from, from customers, what is it that's needed during this period? Well, uh, first of all, good morning, John. Thanks for having me on. It's always great to talk to you. Um, it's actually great to be in Vegas this week, uh, kicking off the new year with um, CES 2023. And it's also great to be here because we get to talk to a lot of our partners and customers all in one place. So, you know, as we look out into 2023, I mean, certainly there's the overall macro backdrop, um, as you're commenting on. But we're extremely excited about, you know, our products. Uh, we've always been a very product-focused company. Um, we have also a breadth of markets. So in addition to our, you know, data center markets, um, you know, really across all of our embedded markets as well as PCs. And we look at this as an opportunity. It's an opportunity for us to continue to invest in the longer term while understanding that um, in the short term, you know, there's, there are these macro, you know, things that are going on there. But we're going to continue to invest in technology. Well, let's talk about some of those investments that uh, you unveiled today. Your flagship processor for laptops now has an AI engine in it. Um, we, we talked about this before in, in, in terms of heterogeneous computing, the idea that you have multiple cores uh, in a chip doing multiple things, uh, hyper-efficient, you can turn on what you need. Um, th this AI, what's that going to allow customers to do? And initially, do you expect it to be more of a high-end premium um, business customer feature or something more mainstream for gamers or consumers? Yeah, it was a you know, great night last night um, at our keynote. We launched um, so many new products across um, our notebooks, as well as, um, as you mentioned, our new uh, Ryzen AI capability, which is the first time uh, we're putting um, AI you know, directly in our notebook processors. And I really view this as the beginning of a wave, John. I mean, we've talked about you know, sort of the importance of having sort of the right computing for the right application. And uh, you know, we see that uh, certainly in the cloud and what we're doing in, you know, the large data centers. But now also bringing that um, into the notebook form factor, it will allow us um, to improve user experiences like never before. And um, that's really exciting. You know, we see things like making your collaboration uh, much more, you know, real life, improving your productivity, uh, improving, you know, your gaming. And for commercial users, you know, improving the way you do security um, for your IT department. So, yes, you know, we're very excited about it. But I would say that this is the beginning of where AI can really become, you know, sort of mainstream in everything that, um, that we have in, in, in silicon.